Hey boys, welcome to Why You Suck at Rocket League. Today we're going to be taking this show back to its roots, back to what it was always made to be. A serious and intricate discussion on the fundamental principles and strategies surrounding a competitive online physics-based video game. The best person to lead this discussion is obviously me, since I do in fact suck at Rocket League and therefore am regularly experimenting with all the concepts we like to cover here. However, pretty much every Rocket League tip you could ever imagine has been covered several times, several ways, by several players, several ranks ahead of me. So let's stick with what we know and work from there. A lot of us know what we're supposed to do, but we feel stuck because it's hard to recognize the situation situations where those tips are supposed to be applied. We need constant reminders and guides to help us along. We also need to stop taking it so damn seriously. In the words of Russian hockey player Ilya Brzgelov, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? Let's begin. Our first situation applies in the mental bucket. Remember that from episode 4? I want to talk about this point first because it pretty dramatically changed the way I thought about Rocket League. It's so simple you might actually be tempted to brush it off as over obvious, but bear with me a bit and try to apply it. It comes from a post from Reddit user Chalkboard Cowboy over on the Rocket League subreddit, which, by the way, I know a lot of my viewers come from the Rocket League subreddit, but if any of you haven't checked it out for some reason, go there now and regularly check it for amazing plays, game strategy discussion, and just about everything Rocket League related. I suck at Rocket League, but I would really, 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 really suck at Rocket League if it wasn't for all the things I learned from those guys. So the idea is basically this. A lot of players subconsciously forget that Rocket League is not about advancing up the field at all costs, like in American football. In football, even a tiny advancement up the field can bring you closer and closer to scoring until eventually you convert. But in soccer, which is what Rocket League is closer to, possession is a bigger priority than field advancement. As you rank up, it becomes harder and harder to score with the American football mentality. And you can end up making mistakes like clearing the ball to the other team even when there's no pressure, taking weak shots at well-defended goals, setting up shots for opponents by clearing into sidewalls, or attempting to stop an advancement midfield, setting up easy shots for the other team. The mentality is, oh no, the ball's moving towards my goal, I have to make it move towards their goal. But that just sets you up for failure. Chalkboard Cowboys says players at different levels think about hitting the ball differently. Level one is, I hit the ball. That's good. Level two is I hit the ball forward. That's good. Level three is I hit the ball in a way that will set us up for the next hit. Now, obviously this comparison of soccer versus American football in relation to Rocket League isn't necessarily a perfect comparison. A lot of the comments in Chalkboard Cowboys post offer even more nuance, pointing out that sometimes you do give up possession, which is part of the game. Possession will trade back and forth a lot in Rocket League, and there's nothing wrong with taking shots at goal just because someone's there. And sometimes you really do need to just clear the damn ball. You still have to make decisions based on the situation. But despite that, keeping possession in mind over advancement in both offense and defense made me a much less sucky player. It's time to stop moving the ball forward and start controlling the ball. Now, if you try to control the ball without the skill to back it up, you're gonna look real dumb real fast. So the next part applies to the physical bucket, giving you some skill reminders as you improve your mental ability. One of the best ways to improve your control is simply to spend time in free play, dribbling the ball as close to your car as possible all around the arena. If you do this every day before you play, you'll see your ball control improve fast. Make sure you're also using power slide as you cut around controlling the ball. Make it a regular part of your movement and dribbling. Concentrate on staying in control of your car, using air roll to land on your wheels and facing the correct direction when you're forced to flip or get bumped. Use a diagonal front flip for a quicker recovery. All of these little tips will help you control the ball, control your car, and control the game. Not your life though, that's still spiraling out of control. Oh, look at the time, it's suck o'clock. That means it's time for boosting to the bottom. Today's boosting to the bottom is performed by Kaysen and his teammates. Looks like based on his camera settings, he's a Kevpert fan. Uh, and I definitely missed the Kevpert tutorial on team play own goals, but they seem to have the concept down pretty well. Thanks for submitting, guys. Uh, don't forget to submit your plays to sunlesscon at gmail.com. And that's all for today. Don't forget to have fun, take breaks, and shit talk your teammates.